Hello and welcome everyone. This is Kelvin from BlackSunComics.com and today I'm going to show you how I install third-party content into Daz Studio. Stay tuned. <laughs> Today's topic comes from Lamar Winkster of the Urban Action Showcase, which is a really cool film festival that happens in New York. I've left a link to it in the video description below. He's also working on an animated series that he's producing using Daz Studio, in fact. I've left a link to that video in the description below so you can check that out as well. Uh, Lamar has been a staunch supporter of the channel, so that is very much appreciated. And I wanted to thank you for asking this question because sometimes I forget that not everyone knows how to do this. Uh, admittedly, the first time I tried installing third-party content, I had no clue what I was doing. I just kind of fumbled my way through. And that being said, I still might be doing it wrong. It seems to work for me. So I'll show you what I do and hopefully it can help you. And if there's some other method that I can use to do it faster or easier, you know, leave a comment in the comment section below and we'll talk about it. So let's get into it. I have this um, Wood Ranger uh, zip file, this product that I downloaded. So what I'm going to do is open it up and what comes in this zip file is you'll see the license. No, it's just a text file. You'll see the Wood Ranger readme and this has the instructions for, you know, how to install it. But uh, to be honest, these instructions are kind of archaic. They never really made sense to me. And then I have this folder with my library and then all these other folders in there. And if I double click, you know, it's a series of folders with files in it. Uh, there we go again. and my runtime with textures, so on and so forth. So depending on what you download from Zurge, the, the folders inside the one folder might vary, but the concept for installing third-party content will be the same. Basically what you're doing is matching the folder structure that appears in the zip file to the folder structure that occurs on your hard drive. So I'm gonna do that now. Let's uh, bring this over here. I'll close this. And I'm going to open uh, an explore window. And let's put the two side by side. Okay, so the way you get to, well, actually, let's go back here. So my library is referring to your DAS library. So the way I get to the DAS library on my hard drive, my particular DAS uh, library, I've used the default location and this is set up when you first install DAS. So I believe it's in C, users, uh, public, public documents, and then my DAS 3D library. So basically this folder is the same as this folder, even though the names are a bit different. So when I open this folder and open this folder, I'm going to match everything. So this exclamation mark x3d-hfs folder, that needs to go right underneath the My Library folder. So if I move up a level here, So I'm just going to drag this over and into here. And let's double check that it worked. So yes. So if I go to my library, my DAS 3D library, when I open this folder and I open this folder, this exclamation mark, exclamation mark, x3d-hfs folder exists. And it also exists here. Right, I want the file and folder structure to, to match. So now the next folder that I see here is a data folder. So I'm going to look for the data folder on my hard drive. Right, so again, just to go back to basics, my library matches with my DAS 3D library. I double click and open it, double click and open this. Now I need to look for the data folder. 
So I come over here. There it is. There's my data folder. So I open that. And I open this. So now this folder here, I just need to drag into here. And what I'll do is just move up a level and drag this into the data folder. And it copies over. Cool. So far, so good. Let's go back. So now, right, my library, my DAS 3D library, if I double click, I took care of this folder. I took care of the data folder. Now I have this runtime folder. So I'm going to go here and look for runtime. Here it is. So here's the runtime folder on my hard drive. Here's the runtime folder in the uh, zip file. So I'm going to open it here. Open my runtime. The next folder it says is textures. So I'm going to look for the textures folder on my hard drive. There it is, textures. I'll double click that. And then there's this X3D HFS textures. So what I like to do is just move up a level and drag this into my textures folder. And that's it. If there are more if there were more folders in here then I'd move those files over. Right? I don't need to move this one over unless I really want to. I don't need to move that over again unless I really want to. Um, basically the most important thing that you want to do is match the folder structure. So whatever folder structure appears in the zip file you want to match that on your hard drive, right? So under my library, I have the, the uh, exclamation, numeric, exclamation mark X3D dash HFS. Under data, X3D HFS. So let's just make sure, double check. There it is, X3D HFS. Under my runtime, Uh, where is it? There it is. Runtime, textures. I need to find this X3D HFS folder. Uh, let's just scroll to the bottom. It usually does it in alphabetical order. Uh, there it is. X3D HFS. And if I open it, it should match Wood Ranger. Wood Ranger. Double click. Double click. And these are the same images here. So it, look good. it looks good. Everything uh, matches up. Now the way I will check to see if this works, uh, let me open up Daz Studio. And we'll just give that a moment to load up. Cool. So now what I want to do is go to my content library my uh, content library I have to have I happen to have open on the left hand side of my screen so I'm just gonna click on this tab and let's scroll up here uh, what I want is um, go under DAS studio formats go to my DAS 3 library here it is so there's the exclamation mark exclamation mark x3d HFS folder there's the Wood Ranger. There we go. So these are all the um, all the parts of the outfit. So you know what I'll do? Let's load up a figure. I'll load up Genesis. I'll load up G1. Then I'll go back to my content library and let's load this. There we go. Go to materials and let's add the material. Well, first let me select it. Ranger armor. There we go. So that's working now. There's the pants. 
Now I go to materials and put the materials on, so on and so forth. You you, you get the idea. So it, it's working. So it's just a matter of moving those folders over and matching the folder structure and the file structure so that everything is the same. And once that's done, it's a matter of finding it in the content library. I had a bit of trouble looking for it. I usually go to the, to the poser formats, but I forget that Zurge 3D usually has their stuff under the desk studio formats. So that's it. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please visit blacksuncomics.com. If you found the information in this video useful, please click like and subscribe and share the videos. And until next time, take care. Peace. Have you ever wanted to make a comic using software like Daz Studio or Poser, but weren't quite sure where to begin? Well, I can start you on the right path. Visit make3dcomics.com where you can subscribe to an email newsletter that will provide you with even more tips on how to make your comics and graphic novels using Daz Studio. These are the same tips and techniques that I use to create my project entitled Black Sun The Longest Night. You'll get exclusive access to information about the behind the scenes process of writing, the business of self-publishing, and all the finer details of digital illustration using 3D scene and character creation software. Remember that the information is only available to those who sign up. It's absolutely free, so visit make3dcomics.com, that's make3dcomics.com with the number three, and sign up today. You owe it not only to yourself, but the world to bring your graphic novel to life. Let me help you do it.